today we're going to continue working with sentences. Okay, we've already talked about a complete simple sentence. Yesterday we talked about a compound sentence, which is two complete sentences now combined. Today we're going to talk about a complex sentence, okay? Now, a complex sentence has an independent clause and a dependent clause, okay? Or sections. And we talked about yesterday how independent clauses, which can stand alone, have a complete sentence. If it's a dependent clause, then it's incomplete. Dependent means it's depending on something else in order to make up a complete sentence. So it cannot stand alone, okay? So the dependent clause cannot stand alone. That's important. Oops, sorry. So an independent clause can stand alone, but a dependent cannot. That's why it's incomplete. It's an incomplete sentence. It's not a complete sentence. All right. You remember that song that we talked about? If you start with a rubus, you need a comma. Remember that? If you start with a rubus, if you start with a rubus, comma, you need a comma. So that's something we're going to be looking at today as well, making sure that we're using a comma if, listen to that, if we start with an Arubis word. Now what are the Arubis words? Well we have after, a, although, a, as, then we go to W, when, while, then we go to you, unless, and we can actually add until, okay, so we have two U's, before, because, that's one you probably use a lot, right? So, when we're using our Rubus words, okay, they have meaning, right? just like our coordinating conjunctions, just like our fanboys. Now these are also conjunction words, but they're called subordinating conjunctions, okay? They're called subordinating, that's our fancy fourth grade word. So these awubis words help us combine independent and dependent, why? The dependent cannot stand alone, so it has to be combined with the independent using one of these words. Now you can do it two ways, and we're going to see some examples right now. But if you start with an awubis, you need a comma, okay? Now all of these words have special meanings that you can only use depending on the type of idea that you're using in the sentence. So let's look at some examples here, okay? My family is going to Idaho because we are having a big family reunion. So we need to draw a line under the independent clause, which is this complete sentence that can stand alone. And we're going to draw two lines under the dependent clause. And then we're going to circle the subordinating conjunction. So I already see my list right here and I see my word because, so I'm going to circle my subordinating conjunction. Now, when you have a subordinating conjunction, it automatically creates a dependent clause because when you're using these words, they leave your reader with a question. What happened after? What happened when? What happened while? What happened because? So if we say, because we are having a big family reunion, that cannot stand alone. It is a dependent clause or an incomplete part, 
right? We're going to use this as a short way to label, but it's dependent. It cannot stand alone. My family is going to Idaho is the complete part because we have a subject, my family, and we have a predicate is going to Idaho. And if we remove this piece, it can stand alone. Okay, let's go to the next one. We have not all been together since my brother was born five years ago. So we're looking first for an Awubis word. I have since. Remember, it makes or creates a dependent part because it's leaving you with, okay, what happened since? You're going to have to have another complete part to make it a complex sentence. So this would be my dependent clause or incomplete part, right? And we have not all been together is a complete part or independent clause, okay? So we have two pieces to a complex sentence that go together or are combined with subordinating conjunctions. Let's continue because number three is a little bit different. Although I know a lot of my cousins, I haven't met the youngest ones yet. Did you notice how I naturally paused when I was reading right here? Because remember, if you start with a boobus, you need a comma. And I did. I started with although. So this is my dependent clause. And this is my complete part. I haven't met the youngest ones yet. If we took that part away from the sentence, it could stand alone. It could be a complete part. But if we took away, although I know a lot of my cousins and just told the reader that, they're going to wonder, well, what happened although? So these awubis words, these subordinating conjunctions are creating a dependent clause. Let's continue. My brother Luke doesn't want to go unless his favorite cousin is going. Here we go, we have an awubis word. So that's already giving me a clue. It's creating a dependent clause. My dependent clause is unless his favorite cousin is going. Okay, so my dependent clause, my incomplete part. So this, my brother Luke, doesn't want to go. That's a complete sentence because it has a subject has a predicate, it has a complete thought. This one, yes it has a subject, yes it has a predicate, but it doesn't have a complete thought because it's giving you unless. And it's making you create a type of questioning, like unless its favorite cousin is going, what? So this is my independent clause, and together both of these parts make a complex sentence. Let's continue. Let's read it together. If everyone in the family shows up, 50 people will be attending. First of all, what's your Rubus word? Use your notes. It's if. Remember the chat? Let's say it. Get ready? If you start with a Rubus, you need a comma. Do they have a comma? Check. All right. So now we know that our awubis word is creating a dependent clause. This part cannot stand alone. It's dependent, okay? 50 people will be attending. That is a complete thought. It can stand alone. This is my complete sentence, okay? So in every single complex sentence, you will have a dependent and a complete sentence. Number six. When we all get together, we play silly tricks on each other. All right, what's our Awubis word? When, okay? If we start with Awubis, we need a comma. So this is my dependent, and this one is my complete sentence because it can stand alone. We could say we play silly tricks on each other and leave it all by itself, all right? 
So let's go through one more of your independent practice. Let's, let me guide you through number one. It says, although it rained one day, okay? It says, draw a line from each clause on the left to a clause on the right. Now that doesn't mean they're in order. And then you need to circle each subordinating conjunction. And you can draw a box around each comma that follows a dependent clause, okay? Now remember, only if you start with a rubus, you need a comma. So we have although it rained one day, we have our comma here, check. We need to find an idea that fits, okay? Doesn't mean it's gonna be straight across. It means we have to look for something. So although it rained one day, because five people had birthdays, Birthdays and raining doesn't really go here, and we have two rubus words which kind of contradict each other, okay? Although it rained one day, everyone exchanged email addresses. Does that fit? Although it rained one day, if there is a reunion next year. Or, although it rained one day, we still had a great time. Because although it's kind of saying like even though anyways right they still had a good time even when it was raining so here you're going to be connecting now here you're going to be using those context clues looking at those ideas right so when you're looking at a complex sentence right you want to look for any of Rubus words okay then you want to label the incomplete and complete parts okay that is going to help you see how this is a complex sentence three you want to follow the rule if you start with Abubis, you need a what? A comma, right? So every complex sentence will be having a dependent and an independent clause or an incomplete and a complete sentence. Okay, it has two parts. So when you're working today, I want you to look at your examples. I'm gonna be, po or I already posted a video, or you should have already seen the video about Awubis words, okay? I'll post an anchor chart as well to help you. But as you're working today, you have to make sure that you are combining parts that have a correct meaning. So when you go to your exit ticket, you have some Awubis words available, but you have to Connect the ideas with the correct meaning. So that means not every Awubis word is going to fit in every sentence. You have to look at the meaning of them, okay? So this tells you a time, like when it's going to happen. Although can mean like even though, oops, or anyway, because it's telling you why something happened, right? If is giving you an ultimatum, like a maybe, maybe it happened, or if something happened, right? It's giving you a rationale. And then unless is saying that something has to happen in order for something else to happen, right? So um, unless you finish all your work, you can play on your PlayStation, okay? So unless gives, mm, let's put unless gives, an ultimatum 
okay and I'm going to be posting an anchor chart to help you as well so when you go to teams you're going to have these as responses you're going to choose which one is the best to fit in the blank depending on the ideas you have to be looking at what the ideas are saying so when you're reading the two parts you need to see how are those ideas being connected what is happening Jita's mom always takes the bus line to work okay she always takes the bus it stops right in front of her office hmm what could we connect to show the relationship between her taking the bus and it's stopping right in front of her office okay she always takes this specific bus line okay that's something to think about so make sure when you're connecting you look for a meaning that fits in the blank with your two ideas reread the sentence okay with your answer All right, work hard today, boys and girls. I'm very proud of you. Good luck, and I'll see you tomorrow.